Hi, today we're going to explore Grelling's paradox. But before we start, try to understand what all of these adjectives have in common. I'll give you a second to think about it. As you can see, all these adjectives somehow describe themselves. Blue is blue, uppercase is uppercase, English is English, and big is indeed big. An adjective that describes itself is said to be autological. Auto meaning same, and logical meaning, well, meaning. All the adjectives we just saw are autological. Let's now take a look at a different set of words. As you might have noticed, all these adjectives do not describe themselves. Monosyllabic is not monosyllabic, Italian is not Italian, long is not long, and red is not red. An adjective that does not describe itself is said to be heterological. If we now take a random adjective, either it describes itself or it does not. So we can divide the set of all adjectives in two distinct parts. The autological adjectives on one side and the heterological ones on the other. But what about the adjective heterological itself? Where does it belong? Is heterological an heterological adjective or is it autological? I'll give you a second to think. Feel free to pause the video if you need more time. Now, if heterological was heterological, then by definition it would not describe itself. So it would not be heterological, and therefore it would be autological. If instead heterological was autological, then by definition it would describe itself, and therefore it would be heterological. In both scenarios we have reached a contradiction. This beautiful paradox was proposed for the first time by philosopher Kurt Grelling in 1908. Did you like it? Did it break your brain? It certainly broke mine. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and comment down below. That's all for today, see you next time!